Morning, art class. So hopefully you've had some time to do part one for your um, Archimboldo uh, food portrait project. You've had time to make your list of 20 foods. And to make things a little more clear, here's what you're gonna end up doing with your list. You're gonna design a portrait of anyone you want. It can be a made up person, could be a real person. If you wanna do a portrait of an animal, like a dog or a cat or a duck or whatever you want, I'm gonna allow it for this project. Um, Typically, we would be doing this with watercolor paint, but we obviously aren't in the art room, so um, we're going to be using colored pencils next week to color our project. So that's one thing I want to make absolutely clear. You are not required to color this project until next week. We're going to do some video tutorials um, for colored pencil techniques later on. So the goal and the end result of this week is to submit a drawing without color of your fruit portrait, your food portrait, excuse me. So... I just wanna show you a couple different ways you could do this. This is a rough draft, this is a sketch. Um, I'd like you to follow along with me with a blank piece of drawing paper if you can, but I wanna kinda of talk about a couple of ways you can do this. Now, um, the first thing, one of the easiest ways I think to start your food portrait would be to start with the head. Now, a portrait is typically the head, neck, and shoulders. Um, maybe a little bit of jewelry or clothing could show, which you could add into your picture. So one way you could do this is to start by, you know, figuring out a food that looks like the shape of a head. You know, we could do an egg, a pineapple, a cookie, honestly, anything. And that's the point I want to make is this, anything can work for this. So I will just start with, let's just start with the, uh, let's start with the big apple. So I'm going to sketch kind of dark so you can see. Um... Actually, let's make this an upside down egg. Just kind of like a real human shape head right there. So we've got our head. So there's one. We've got one out of our 20 already. A um, couple things you can do. Let's zoom in now is think about all the different features of the face. We have the eyes, eyebrows, eyelids, pupils, iris. We have the nose with the nostrils, uh, maybe a mustache. We have the lips. We have teeth. You have a tongue. You have cheeks. You have ears, earlobes. You could do earrings. There's a lot of different facial features. If you just put one, you know, piece of food for the eye, that's really, really limiting the amount of uh, detail you can add into this. So I can, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, um, you know, for the ears, I can start there. I could do a, um, oh, let's just make a little like orange slice. And, uh, you know, you can kind of add some little details how you want. Now, if I do another orange slice on this side, that doesn't count as three different foods. If you repeat a food, it only counts as one. So I could do a, I could do a lemon slice on this side. And the only difference between them would be color. So right now I've got three out of my 20 already. Um, for my eyes, you know, I could do, let's think of food that could be in the shape of an eye. I could make a, this eye out of peppers, like a jalapeno pepper. And then maybe put a, um, a blueberry in the center of this one. I'll kind of darken this, you can see it. We'll have the little pepper stem. This eye, um, we could make the top part of it a, we could make it a piece of bacon. And I'm not being super detailed with this, but I'm just, you know, trying to make each food stand out a little bit. And then the um, eye could be a grape. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of our 20 foods already. You know, if you want to do eyebrows, you could maybe make the eyebrows carrots. Notice how I'm not um, drawing these to scale. So. And it's starting to take shape. It's starting to add a lot of detail. You know, we could do hair. We could make the hair. Um, actually, the first thing I want to cover is this never looks good. But if you want to make the hair out of spaghetti, don't just scribble and then color it yellow. That never looks very nice. You know, be precise with what you do. You know, you could make the character have spiky hair. You could make it, um, you could make his hair be different um, slices of pizza. Or maybe this is a, um, a piece of pie or something like that. Or, you know, maybe this spike could be a piece of Swiss cheese. You know, it could, there's a lot you could do with that. You know, for the nose, I can just think of foods that, you know, resemble that shape. I could make the nose look like a pear. You know, for the mouth, it's 
It's absolutely whatever you want it to do, whatever you want it to look like. Uh, jewelry, maybe cherry earrings. You know, maybe the neck could be a, oh, what could the neck be? We could make the neck a, maybe a stack of pancakes. Maybe have some like syrup dripping between the layers. That's kind of unique. Um, you know, we could add the shoulders if we want. You know, let's zoom out a little bit. There we go. You know, you could add other kinds of jewelry. Um, I could make a jewelry or a necklace out of candy. Maybe these are Skittles, and maybe every other one is an M&M. So let's see, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've got 16 foods already, and I haven't even started the mouth yet. So I want you to try to be as creative as you can with this. Don't just, you know, slap foods around on the character's face and call it a day. Be really precise with the food that you choose. You know, if you chose a theme, such as desserts or fast food, really think about, you know, where these objects are going to go. Um, if you want to draw a character's face from the side instead of the front, you know, you could do a, a side profile. I'm just going to kind of sketch this really quick. You know, where the character is looking to the side. That's a really kind of creepy face, but that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you could do the ears the same way. They could still be orange slices. I'll kind of try to draw this same character from the side a little bit. You know, there's the pepper, there's the blueberry, you can make the carrot, you know, you can make the nose, the pear, all sorts of different things. You know, here's the pancake neck. So it's 100% it's up to you, but you need to include 20 different types of food. And I shouldn't have any issue looking at your picture and picking out what each of the foods are. If you need help drawing foods, you have your uh, Chromebooks with you. Search up how to draw, you know, a pear, how to draw a lemon, how to draw pancakes. I guarantee you will find videos um, on YouTube or just in Google Images that could help you with your designing your food portrait. So what I want you to turn in... Uh, for the end of this week is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't need to turn in your list. I don't need to see that, but I want to see, um, I don't even need to see your rough draft either, but um, by Friday, I want you to turn in a picture of your final draft, okay? So you should be doing this on a fresh sheet of clean paper, and you should spend approximately between making your list, following along with me on this rough draft, and your final draft, approximately an hour and a half to two hours worth of work. And that's without coloring. That's that's basically the equivalent to two class periods in the art room. So we're doing this in significantly less time. Um, take a look back at the slideshow. Give him, give the artist Archambolo a Google search as well if you need any more inspiration. But um, that is our objective. So if you have any questions, please ask on um, Google Classroom or send me an email and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks for watching.